Hello, this is Brian Rowley with Roselle Enterprises, mouse help at roselle.com, and we're going to demonstrate how to use copy and paste to solve a printing problem. The problem arises when you're using a larger font, like 14 point, for sending messages, which, by the way, in, we're in Windows Live Mail, and the setting for that is here. You click where the file menu used to be on the left edge here and we go to options and go to mail and then here is where you compose and this is where you set your font settings so let's just say we like a larger font for sending emails so we set it to 14 points and close that now this message was sent for the purpose of this demonstration so and it's in 10 point and we're going to reply so we click on reply and we're going to see that our settings are set for 14 point and I've already created some text to page to paste into this response so I'm just going to paste that in here and this is our response in 14 point so let's just say that our response goes on for several paragraphs and in that case when we go to print now if we were to print this message later, as you'll see, it would use several pages versus printing in a font size of, let's say, 10 or 12 points, which would use fewer pages. So let's go ahead and send our email, finish the rest of this demonstration. And then let's say we decide, okay, now we want to print that message so we can print it out so we can read it and refer to it later. So I'm going to go to my sent items. And if I open up this message, and I go to head, go ahead and wanted to print this, I'll get this font. I mean, I will get this part of the original message will be in the font that it was sent, which is 10 points. And the top end of my message will be printed in 14 point. And of course, like I said, that is going to affect the output on the printer because the printer isn't is just going to use however many pages it takes to put all these words words on a page. So here's the solution. It's not well it is kind of easy actually. You can take this the text from your message like this. And when I say take, I mean use your use your mouse and simply select. So we're selecting all of I'm just taking my mouse, I'm holding down the left button and I'm dragging like this. So there are a number of ways to select things, but probably this is the easiest. Just hold down your left print, I mean, hold down your left button on your mouse, scroll down to the end. When you get to the end, you see everything is selected. And this is how I would do it. I would right click now on this blue text and choose copy. And so now when we're getting ready to print, we need to print from a different place where we will be able to adjust our font size. So let me show you that. For my purposes, this is Microsoft Word. You could use Notepad, you can use WordPad, you can use any word processing program for this purpose. And we just need to get a new file here. So I'm going to choose a new file and then I'm just going to paste. So I'm right clicking in the blank space here. You, know, you gotta love, you gotta love Word to make things difficult. So I'm going to use Control V, C T R L hyphen V, because this is Word and they just don't make right click nice and easy for us. So here we go. Control V, that pastes in all of the text from the stuff we copied from our other email. Now in in Word, my default settings are Times New Roman 12, but the point we're really trying to make here is that you can make this now any size you want it to be. And again, you can do this by selecting all of your text, and then you can decide what font is it and what size is it. So let's say we want Arial 10. And Word will actually tell you how many pages it's going to take to print this. See this at the bottom? Page 1 of 3. So it's going to take three pages to print this, but what I'd like to show you is if all of this were to be printed in 14 point, 
now we've just used an extra page. So I think the point is made. If you have a larger font, it takes more pages. And if you use your font size to control that setting, you can set it to something smaller. Personally, I like my 12-point font, and I happen to be a fan of Times New Roman. That's why it's my default setting, and you can see I'm going to get this on three pages. It's large enough to read without wasting paper. So hopefully that demonstrates what you need to do. Oh, I did say if you were going to go through all this trouble to make this document, you might want to save it. Save it as... Um, let's see. Let's give it a good name that makes sense. So we're going to save it as a font size discussion. And then we're going to put that in a folder that makes sense. So here's my documents folder. And maybe I create a folder called um, email. Open that. Save that. Now, whenever I go through this exercise of creating a document because I needed to print it, I can just save it in that email folder and I'll have a running history of the conversations I've had with people. So that's the end of my lesson. I hope that helps to clear things up for you. And if not, I will try again, maybe with more instructions, maybe a list of simple instructions to point out what we just did here. But that's what I would do if I were trying to print two different font sizes from an email message because you can't change. Once you're in, once you've opened a sent message, there's nothing I can do here. There's no font adjustment you can make to a sent message. So what you see is what you get, and what you see is also what's going to print. So printing directly from here will use more pages, and there's no way to change the font size once you've sent a message. I hope that clears things up for you. Let me know if there's anything more I can do, or you need more detail on the steps that we use to copy and paste and create a new document. But that's the end of this lesson.